Hey everybody, I hope the week is treating you well. I am here in my car. Verdict is still out whether hands-free actually includes videotaping yourself while driving. So some of the time I'll just let the car be stopped, I guess. <laughs> um, coming at you live though from the car. Um, and I am here this week to present what we're talking about and learn to love your story which is the idea of shifting your narrative and using this as a tool also to help you cope with the, you know, the everyday living of life, which is a hard thing to do, right? It is sometimes. And um, I, I just wanted to share just the doozy of a weekend into Monday that I have had already. <laughs> And I like to share these things with you because I think that people get the impression I'm a clinical psychologist, I'm teaching you guys all this stuff, I must have all of it together. Uh, no, um, I use the stuff that I teach and I've learned how it really works and I, I have definitely learned how loving your story kind of, it, it just shifts everything in your life dramatically. That does not mean I don't have uh, crap shows of, of weekends, just, just saying. So, so let's talk about it. Thursday was, uh, my first college visit with my oldest. And while I was away, the babysitter contacted me to let me know that my daughter had swallowed an inanimate object that is not edible and shouldn't be in one's body at all. So while hundreds of miles away from home, I'm trying to coordinate with her dad so that we can get her checked out yeah. So that's just like the beauty of how it all started, right? And then I had left myself just this easy project, this easy thing called putting your taxes together before Monday until this weekend. And I, 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 I can't, I can't like, it's right here. We're about to, we're about to put it into the mail as we speak. Um, 1099s weren't there. Things didn't add up hours and hours were spent poured over the very thing that Natalie hates the most, which is math. <laughs> and so, oh my gosh, that, so that was fun-ish. Mm -mm. uh, and so, okay. Then uh, yesterday I had tried to make a pot roast in the crock pot. And I say try, I'm actually a pretty good cook. I've made this recipe before but my crock pot decided to die. So while I thought it had been cooking for 10 hours, it really had been warming for 10 hours. So now I have a very nice cut, very tough piece of meat uh, to eat for dinner on Sunday evening. No, no, not what I was looking forward to. Not at all, not at all. And because this whole tax thing had started to happen, I did not get to my Learn to Love Your Story personal development course posting, which I do every Sunday and Monday morning. Uh, so I was up until midnight, at least two nights with either taxes or that. Woke up at four to finish it off this morning. I mean, it, we're, we're heading into a Monday, people. We are heading into a Monday and dropping off the old taxes. So come on now, right? Oh, Oh, and we had the follow-up this morning with my doctor's physician, you know, because when you swallow things and they don't pass, then you kind of have to check in with your doctor. <laughs> so this is a recipe for disaster, right? Like, what am I laughing about? Uh, really? This is a recipe for getting into that kind of tunnel vision that we all do sometimes where we say to ourselves, I don't have any control over this. This stuff keeps happening. Murphy's Law, one thing happens, everything's going to go bad. All the idioms that you've thought of, and I know you've thought of them, and I know you've recited those narratives to yourself before. I don't think those narratives serve you, though. And so I'd strongly encourage you to make one small shift. And that shift is to really own what is it that I can do about this situation. Be a hero. Be a heroine right? If I am always showing up in my life to whatever comes my way in the, in the way of how can I best deal with this? How am I going to power through this? How am I going to use my superpowers? Well, what do you think is going to happen? 
it changes the narrative significantly. It does not change the storyline. Uh, I still have taxes due. My daughter still swallowed something while I was hundreds of, hundreds of miles away from home. Oh, and I, <laughs> I dropped half my Starbucks this morning. Oh, I forgot that one because my whole car smells like Starbucks, which actually I don't mind. I mean, none of the story is changing people, but I'm my own heroine. And so I just keep showing up to each of these adversities in a way that I know works for me, in a way where I'm going to do my best through it. And I'm going to feel great about it because I'm using my superpowers because I'm a heroine. It changes things, people. I promise you. So the next time you find yourself in a series of unfortunate events, and believe me, they happen to all of us, even the best of us, I'm not saying I'm the best of us, but just saying, <laughs> always we will have these series of unfortunate events. If you start to hear yourself saying things like, oh, here we go again. Oh, it's just gonna go awful. Murphy's Law. I want you to think of that phrasing as a rumble strip on the side of the highway. Go with me for a sec. You start saying those narratives to yourself. Mm, it's just happening again. I have no control. Think of yourself as going on that rumble strip on the side of the highway. Bup, 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 bup. Come back onto the highway. And this time, instead of thinking of those narratives, I want you to start from the framework of I am my own hero or heroine in this story. How am I going to use my superpowers and show up to this? Have a great week, everybody.